And he is saying straight up, hey, creatine is not going to make you smarter unless, and this is my general interpretation, you are old, (laughs) have cognitive decline, or are metabolically stressed. What does metabolically stressed mean? Probably sleep deprived, jet lagged, something like that. Granted, there are a few different studies here, not a lot. There is a couple sleep deprivation studies, maybe just one sleep deprivation study. There are a few studies on traumatic brain injury and concussion with creatine where it does seem to be beneficial. Again, crazy metabolic stressors where, you know, the brain is metabolically compromised. Maybe it's not using glucose. Maybe it's not using fat as efficiently. Creatine seems to help there if and only if you take this to dose that's probably 20 to 30 grams or more. And why that seems to be necessary is because Unless you're taking 20 to 30 grams, none of the creatine that you're taking is getting into your brain. You either need several weeks of 10 to 20 grams per day or 20 to 30 grams is just mega high, mega dose of creatine to actually get those levels into your brain and help the cognitive function under those situations of metabolic compromise. Darren Cantow is saying, you know, it's not, it's not going to make you smarter unless you're older or diseased or metabolically compromised. And I just keep seeing this like myth float around on social media where people are saying that they take creatine and and feel better. Well, there is something, there's a name for that, and that's called the placebo effect. If you're taking creatine, maybe five to 10 grams a day, and you're feeling smarter or feeling more alert afterwards, that's the placebo effect going happening because that is, it's literally not how creatine works. You need to supplement with creatine for several weeks at a time five to 10 grams, probably even more for the brain benefits. I think there's a lot of good evidence. Darren Kandow talks about this and Dr. Rhonda Patrick has talked about this before, but you need probably 10, 15, maybe even 20 grams per day of creatine to actually raise your brain creatine levels. Anything other than that, 10 grams or less per day, it's just all going to your muscles saturating. You need some extra, some surplus to actually get that creatine into your brain. And so creatine doesn't work like It doesn't work like caffeine or it doesn't work like these short-term cognitive enhancing supplements where, you know, it's going to boost brain blood flow somehow or increase neurotransmitters that will make you smarter. You have to saturate your muscle stores. You have to increase your brain creatine stores for it actually to have this benefit. So it doesn't work on this immediate level. And it kind of reminds me of this post from a couple months ago where the golfer, I forget who the golfer was, so forgive me, but... He was talking about how he overdosed on on creatine or something like that. And and I guess there could be a case for that if he was taking like 30 to 50 grams. But in general, it's, it's not how creatine works.